Okay, so this is our last um, empathy lesson for Character Strong. We're on lesson 16 um, of the year. And one more time, empathy is made up of these three skill sets, sharing, thinking, and caring. We can improve our ability to tune into what people are feeling, try to better understand people's perspectives, and continue to close the gap between wanting to help and actually doing something to help. So today's topic is caring a mission, and we are going to put caring into action as a group. Um, your mission, if you choose to accept it, will involve three main things. Number one is choosing one person to have your effort impact. So you want to pick somebody that you want to impact. Um, number two is decide on how you best want to impact this person, obviously in some kind of positive way. And number three is creating and delivering your act of care. So you're going to identify a person in your community. So it could be at home, at school, your neighbor. It can be any community that you want that would benefit from an act of caring. So here are some questions that might help, <clears throat> excuse me, that might help you pick who you want to work on. Um, so number one is who is who in your community is experiencing need? Two would be who would be surprised or just delighted or happy by an act of kindness right now? Number three is who do we know enough about collectively to make a really meaningful impact with? So you can think of any of those for who you want to impact. And once you've identified the person, you're going to talk about an action. So there's a few questions now that can guide your thinking on how to act for this person. So do you want to complete this whole project today or do you want to give um, yourself a deadline and some actions to do outside of like right now? Um, if we know a need, how can we best meet that need? What is the most creative or unique way to meet their needs? Or how do we make sure that the action feels like it's coming from us, um, like ourselves? I know this is a group, but you guys, this is going to be your character dare pretty much for this week. And how do we bring individual voices forward to show both collective and individual caring? So once you figured out the action, you're, we're going to actually do it. So that's going to be the character dare part. So um, we're going to, over the week, um, keep these things in mind. Whatever you do, make sure that your voice is in the final product. Um, sometimes the way we deliver something can be just as powerful as the things we are delivering. So overall, your goal, let me go back for this character dare, is you're going to identify a person in your community that would benefit from an act of caring. And you're going to deliver that act. So it could be, so I'm trying to find where it wrote. It could be um, just sending like a teacher, like a nice little note saying, I appreciate all you've taught me this semester because we're ending on this semester. Maybe like an advocate or your counselor or somebody helped you get your grade up. So you could give them a note. Maybe um, your parents like helped you with um, like distance learning. So you said something like that, or maybe, um, your neighbor shoveled your driveway when you couldn't get outside because you woke up late. Um, you can just do a little note, a thank you, a phone call. Um, you could send them a note like in the mail and like have it be anonymous so they don't know who it's from. Um, whatever you want you choose to do is going to be your um, character dare for this week. So these questions will be on your exit ticket. So I'm just going to go to our, um, what's it called? Our quote. So then our quote is for this week is true forgiveness is when you can say thank you for that experience. Uh, I really like this because I'm kind of a person that the saying like I'll forgive you, but I won't forget. Um, that's always been in my mind, like I'll forgive what you did, but I'm not going to forget about it. But we also need to not let it fester and like stay inside of us. We need to kind of let it go. And like, yes, you can forgive that person, but you're not, it's more about you. It's not about what the other person did. Yes, you can still feel bad about it, but don't let it hurt yourself. Don't let it bring you down. Um, let them deal with it. Like if they feel remorseful for what they did, fine. If they don't, whatever. You can't let it bother you that much. Um, so this lesson was short and sweet. It's just finally acting on our source of empathy. And so again, one last time, you're going to pick someone that you think could or deserves or could use an act of kindness um, in your community. So anybody that you have contact with, and then you're going to actually show it to them. So sending them a letter, a voicemail, an email, um, a text, a Snapchat, 
um, a note on their door, something nice and kind that just shows someone that you appreciate them and you're empathetic and you care about.